What's up guys, Evil Deer here. So today I want to speak to you about something that's kind of been nagging at me for a while, so I just wanted to get it out in the open. Now see, since I started this channel, I receive a lot of messages on Facebook, um, I get a lot of emails from Esperantists and also English speakers alike, asking about various things. Most of the time it's just praise, saying I love what you're doing, keep doing it, and I truly, I cannot express how good that makes me feel every time I see one of those emails. But this isn't about that, this is about my channel in the sense that sometimes it's a little bit controversial. So I speak my mind, I don't hide behind my thoughts and just like, just keep them to myself. I let it out, I let it out into the open for the world to hear, that's the type of person I am. So when I speak about the Esperanto culture, I don't hold anything back. If I see something that's a problem, like recently, well not recently, a while back I made a video about the slow death of Esperanto associations, man that caused an uproar. Some people were like emailing me of like violent threats type of thing. Like, I'm not really that violent, but you know, for an Esperantist perspective, it's pretty violent. But I just wanted to say, like, I'm going to make things and they're going to offend some people. You can't make everyone happy. Like, honestly, as this channel grows, there's going to be more and more people who come and watch it and you can't make everyone happy. And if I offend you, just, just remember this, I'm not trying to offend you. I'm trying to start a conversation. That is the whole idea between my video blogs. Why do you think I ask you guys so many questions? Because I like to hear your feedback and I like to see the discussions that come out of that feedback. Like I see some people have full on discussions down in the comments of my YouTube videos and that makes me happy even when they're totally against what I'm saying. Like in that Slow Death Desperado Associations one, in the comments below there was a lot of people that, like more people that were saying no no no, that Esperanto Association is growing good, they, they serve a purpose still blah 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 and you know what as I'm reading that I'm going yeah yeah that's a good point that's a good point I'm here to start a conversation in that aspect so when I make those video blogs about the Esperanto culture I'm either trying to show people what the Esperanto culture is or I'm trying to start a conversation about something I really really feel passionate about in the Esperanto community and honestly if we don't have that conversation it's going to be swept under the rug and then nothing's going to be done so when I speak about the slow death of Esperanto associations I'm not out to say haha look all the associations are dying, you guys wasted your time. Not at all. When I learned Esperanto, associations were my main contact with the language. What I'm trying to say is, guys, we need to evolve. Something has to change here because we're we're collapsing our associations, like our local ones. Now, from what I've read in the comments, it's not the same everywhere, so I'm really grateful about that. I'm glad to see that in other parts of the world, the associations are flourishing. But this was just from my perspective. So when I said that, I'm basically saying, this is what I'm viewing we shouldn't be too worried about it because a lot of things are going online now, but let's have a conversation about this and see if there's anything we can do as a group, as a community to make this move forward. Now the other thing I wanted to do with my channel was help teach the language. So that's mainly through my video game Let's Plays, okay? So I play the game and I teach the language. Now, obviously I get a lot of comments every now and then where someone will notice one little error. I swear to God, you Esperantists, like I have two groups of people who watch my channel. Those who are just starting to learn the language and those who are like, probably better Esperantists, like way better than me. And they sit there and they wait for me to make a mistake and they're like, ah, oh, I've caught you. And then they attack me and I'm like, ah, type of thing but no no it's okay because then I also learn as well because yes I speak the language fluently but because I speak the language fluently it doesn't mean I speak it fluently perfectly as in like I speak it by the book most of my Esperanto uh, most of my Esperanto I learnt on the fly like literally I just learnt random words as I went along I didn't sit down and take formal exams or anything literally to this day I think I've completed the first exam on Learnu and then that's it I just kind of learnt it as I went so I'm probably not the best teacher in the world but I try I give it my best shot and if I make mis mistakes I'm sorry and I try to clean it up but anyway that was just that random thing so yeah and of course the third aspect is I make random vlogs in Esperanto every now and then and that's just purely for those people out there who are in areas where there is no Esperanto so they can actually hear the language spoken yes there is other places you can go to hear it but it's always good to have more sources and plus I get the practice when I speak to you guys like every now and then I'll make a video blog in Esperanto and I'll be I'll stop halfway through and I'll go Dear God, I don't know the word for this common concept. And then I'll go look it up, so it's helpful for me. So yeah, that's basically all I wanted to speak about in this vlog. I'm going to make another World of Warcraft video today, um, a little bit later in the day. I just wanted to get this out now because I just received another email. And instead of responding individually to these emails, I thought I'll respond, but I'll also put the link to this video in there just to help those understand why I do this, okay? So yeah, if you like this video, give it a like, um, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you 
you in the next video. And if you're not there, well, I will find you and do possibly bad things to you. <laughs>